Well, hello there, humans of these earthlings, if you are, where if you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Welcome back to Channel on Bush. And today, we're going to be having a look at how you can become better at World of Tanks Blitz by simply changing the way you control the game. I'm going to break down how that is, why it is, give you some background info on where this is all coming from, because it's not an original idea by me, and also show you why I've really come back to this uh, after a long time. Uh, way back in the day when I was in the Storm Clan, one of the members there, Early, uh, he used to play Claw, which is where you're using your thumb and your forefinger uh, on one side of the screen to actually, you know, control the game. But Blitz has always been very easy to play with thumbs, and it's one of the, the more positive aspects of the game because... To be honest, the complexity of Blitz is all in the vehicle mechanics and the shell mechanics, like spaced armor, tracks, uh, you know, overmatching, auto bounce zones, uh, Hesh, HE, splash damage, APCR, shell velocity. All these are things that go into making Blitz a really, really interesting and complex game. Whereas the control method is deceptively simple like it really is but there is still a huge advantage to being very good at controlling your vehicle obviously the better you are at controlling your tank the more likely you are to pull off quick shots and all that kind of thing and over time you get used to using your thumbs and that's all well and good what i'm going to do now is kind of a bit taboo but i'm going to show you another game that i play called PUBG, and i'm going to show you the gameplay just 20 seconds of it and this is me playing ranked deathmatch uh, games, not the full classic game, just quick fire games like Blitz. Uh, and then I'm going to show you the controller layout, okay? Now, the thing I want to ram home here is how much better you can be at controlling your iPad if or your, your phone or whatever if you stop just using your thumbs. Um, this might look fairly straightforward. Okay, but there's a lot going on here, a lot ducking, weaving, left and right. Have a look at my fingers when I'm doing this. I'm using what's called a six-finger claw method. I've got a zoom finger, I've got a lean finger, I've got a duck finger, I've got a lay down on the ground finger, I've got a jump finger. You know, it's all happening, and it allows you a much greater degree of control. Why not do this on Blitz, Bushka? Because, I mean, watch this. This is like so many different moving pieces. So let's talk a little bit about the Blitz interface. Blitz is a, an old game in terms of mobile gaming. It still looks great and it still provides exactly what's on the packet. It's a, a really fast paced and fun experience. But the UI is definitely outdated. Uh, it It is very different to most games in that it's super inflexible. Uh, for instance, and I'm gonna break down a few of these things. If you are using the zoom key, you can only use it on the right side of the screen. Uh, this is really frustrating because I quite like in other games to have my fire key on the right and my zoom on the left, but that's not an option in Blitz because it gives you these bits of real estate that you can see on the screen in green that can be, that's your boundaries. Uh, also like the radio box at the bottom, right, that you can use to, uh, you know, put out your SOS or, you know, indicating a target and all that, that's inflexible, it can't be moved and it's in red. Uh, likewise, the changing ammunition uh, loadout tool is only available on the right side of the screen and your uh, consumables tool is only available on the right side of the screen. This limits things. Um, I play a six finger claw loadout on PUBG and I'm going to show you, I don't know, I'm recording this, but I don't know if I've already shown you that or not. But the there's some things in that that I've really learned, which is uh, the controller size. The smaller the controller size, uh, paradoxically, the larger amount of control you have. And that's something that I've changed for this layout. Because the smaller the controller, the easier it is to move. Um, you've got to downsize that as far as possible. Uh, you're also like capable with this loadout of or this layout of having three fingers on the screen at once very comfortably and that means you can move fire and zoom all at once those three there which is absolutely clutch while your uh, fourth finger or thumb is in the bottom right corner aiming so 
that gives you a huge advantage over a thumb player who is having to lift their fingers off the screen to make those things happen. And we all know that, especially if you're playing at higher ping, those milliseconds matter in terms of the desync between you and the server and the different armor profile you're going to be shooting at because Blitz, for all its simplicity in the layout, is incredibly complex in the dynamics of the gameplay and the mechanics, which is what we love about it. I would love to see them move this area of the screen so it was more flexible and we could have uh, different things. But to be honest, you can overcome this by just using more fingers. Uh, I run a six finger layout on the other game I was talking about. And if you run six fingers here, you'll be fine. You can have uh, one finger moving, one finger firing, one finger zoomed in, and you can still have this finger, uh, a, a fourth finger or a fifth finger You've got, remember, you've got your thumb down the bottom right moving around and you can use that to actually uh, change the loadout if you want to. I don't think it's particularly necessary, but you could do that. So how's it looking game? Well, this is me just starting out with it and it's a little bit weird because I've obviously had, I don't know, 60,000 games playing it the other way. It's, <laughs> it's tough, but I'm a 47 year old dude. If I can do this kind of stuff with six fingers in PUBG, then there is no reason, whoever you are right now watching this, you can't adjust and do this. You might play in a more uncoordinated potato-like fashion for the first couple of days, but you'll come to this really, really quickly. And a lot of players already do this. Uh, the interface can be improved, but that doesn't mean that you can't just work around it. Like this is not, um, it's not rocket science and there's not so many moving parts that you can't just deal with that. I know you can flip the consumables to the other side of the screen, but that doesn't really help. What, what you need to be able to do is flip the consumables or anything to anywhere you want on the screen. That would make life a lot easier. But as it is, you can see that this is definitely a more effective way of driving your vehicle. You don't have to move your fingers off the screen at all. You can look around, you can zoom, you can shoot, all those kind of things. Your control is just better. And you're gonna see this sh couple of shots I take here on this J Panther, like a very quick snapshots and I'm already moving backwards while I'm taking the shot because I have two buttons working on the left-hand side of the screen. A quick zoom in. Now, this doesn't go in, I don't think, but you can see how much quicker you can jiggle and wiggle. And that's really, really important. So I would suggest that if you're not already doing this, like on the move shots and everything are so much easier when you're doing this, I'd love to be able to move the radio button from the bottom left, but you can still move your thumb without moving your finger off the zoom button or the shell change button. If you're not already doing this, then you probably should start looking at doing it. And God knows, I've wanted to do it for ages. And I've been playing a four-finger claw in other games, and I've just switched to a six-finger claw. I thought, I'm going to bite the bullet. I mean, I know you can do it in Blitz effectively. You can play with your thumbs and be one of the best players in the world. But if you're looking to maximize your return on your investment, if you're looking to be the best player you can possibly be, and it's about time I stepped up to the plate and made the change, why not do it with me? Why not come and start playing Claw with me? Tell me how it goes. Leave a message in the comments below and let me know how you feel about it. And by the way, tier seven is the new tier 10, right? This is this is where I this is where I play most of my time now until I get rid of those grubby tanks. Anyway, uh, you'll see in this little tete-a-tete -tete I have with the VK45, I'm still getting used to this, guys. So I thought I'd show you an honest, but look how quickly I can reset and it's still not stopping me from getting shots off. My my finger's never coming off that movement button. And because it's small, my movement's actually improved already. Look at that. I, I'm able to zoom, aim, whatever I want to do. Stay face hugging very, very easily. Switch ammo types. I've not moved my finger off the screen yet. I've not stopped controlling my tank at any point in time. And let's be honest, that's a big plus. So, I also found on my hard drive uh, yesterday when I was looking for footage, um, I've done a, like a whole video uh, that is old tanks that people put in like a couple of patches ago now. And uh, so, I had it all edited, but I just haven't put the audio on it. So, I'm going to put that the, the audio on that uh, again this week as well. So, that video is coming up. We're going to have a look at the control setups in detail as we progress. We're going to let you see some more hand cam footage and I'll... I'll 
maybe do a couple of live streams where I include the hand cam footage so we can have a squiz and see how I'm progressing. Because at the moment, I'm, I'm pretty slow with it. But it's so much easier once you put the effort in. And having been someone that's done it before in another game, um, I can tell you that once you get it sorted, it's sorted for good. It's like riding a bike. You can't help but stay on. Uh, look after yourselves, love your work, and as always, stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now.